show you guys is how to deal with pre-assault cues and, and bid that into response. We're gonna do a basic wrist lock today. Um, normally you're not gonna see somebody just come and punch you right away. They're gonna give you some pre-assault clues. You might see them pointing at you or maybe push you and then go to take a shot or something. So uh, we always practice keeping our hands up. Now, I'm gonna keep my hands up. He's gonna, he's just kind of pointing or maybe puts his hands out. I'm gonna show you what to do off that. If you, you wanna take some retreat, try to de-escalate the situation. Uh, but if you can't uh, run away or leave, then you have to deal with it. So uh, that's what we'll show you today. So uh, Chris, you think so I'm trying to take a step back here. And then I, now what I'm doing, I took a wrist lock. So he, when he's got a pain, you want to go with the lock for your protection. If he doesn't, if he tries to stand up and I keep this here, it can really mess up the wrist joint. Okay. So this broke his posture. Then what I'm going to do, we're going to into almost like an arm bar. And I'm going to take him down for a pin and I'm going to drop his weight. Okay. I put my knee by his my knee by his wrist and by his butt, and I can keep him here extended. Now, can you try to get up? Okay. Now, notice he tapped out. Okay. If, if it's too much pain when we do these locks, tap your leg or tap the ground, and then that's your cue to let up on the pressure. Right. Do it again. Okay. Maybe stay back. Okay. Now. You see that was obviously a lot sloppier. In real life, it can be hard to actually pick the hands out. So you have to go with what you got. Um, the key part is, sit up. When, when I got him here, I got him off balance. I didn't have the best lock on him, but he was here, so I, I stepped in to take his balance off. See, my leg comes in here. If I don't do that, if I stay like this, and he's strong, he could probably come up on me. It's very important when you're down here, this is a mistake most people make when they do the arm bars. They try to do this. They gotta be in close like this. Now I have my whole body weight here. And as I sit down, he can't come up. Okay, and I can take him straight down, okay? So try it again. So you're stepping back. He's gonna, you're gonna poke and keep your hands in there. Okay, here. Now, notice when I grabbed him, by keeping my hands up, it allows me to get one or two hands. What I don't want to do is, is, is keep my hands down and then try to pick his hand out when it's coming in and out. It's it's too hard, I'm not gonna do it. By, by keeping my guard position here, I can use two hands to kind of trap it. And then what I'm doing, I'm trapping it and I'm rotating over like this for the lock. The lock is, when he, if you get his arms straight, or somewhat straight, you, you, you want his hand vertical. I'm grabbing on the knife part of his hand right here and I'm going straight down towards him. That'll break his posture. This is a very painful lock, okay? And then when I once I break his posture down, I gotta step in, because I have him where I want him. Now I gotta finish him off. So I'm stepping in here and then taking him down, okay? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, one more time. Okay. Hey, my will? What? Where are you? Yeah. Okay, just get him down to this point. And remember, you want to keep uh, a knee here by his arm and one just by his pelvis, okay? Keep this distance here. And what you can do, you can keep twerking it in like this. If he starts to move on you, this is a nice relaxed position for a pin. I can stay here a long time. I'm not exerting any energy and I can control him right here. Okay, all right. Watch for the tap, okay? Run her up. 